A donor come in who was a recipient of 60 some pints of blood and who um, was trying to repay all 60 some pints of blood that she had received and she told me her story as I was taking her blood and it was it was pretty emotional and moving it meant a lot I wanted this work for the Red Cross because it represented something good in the community it was just people helping people and it made a difference My name is Catherine Volpini, and seven years ago, I had my fourth child. And when he was born, everything was fine and normal. And he was almost, I was almost finished with the delivery, and all of a sudden I felt very sick. And it turned out I had ruptured. And before the night was over, if there wasn't any, if there hadn't been any O negative blood, I would have died. And I cleaned out the entire O negative supply for GBMC, St. Joseph's Hospital, and uh, there was one more, I think the central facility where they keep it. The whole situation, it just went from normal, it was totally normal, everything as expected, and then it went totally wrong. And being O negative, I, I'm a universal donor, but I can only accept O-negative. So to have an O-negative person be in such dire need, I needed 20, I think it was 20 pints or something before the night was over. Um, it, was, it was there, it was available. Um, drivers drove it in and it was there and here I am. My name is Kelly Cohen, and this is Sammy, my daughter. Hello. And, and my inspiring story about the Red Cross is that Sammy was born with sickle cell anemia, and at age two, she was found to be susceptible to strokes, so the doctors immediately placed her on transfusion therapy. Um, since then, she had been transfused from two to four every two weeks. At four, she 
was found to sequester blood in her spleen and she had her first uh, operation. Um, right after that, she had been transfused every four to six weeks up until age eight. At age eight, actually last August, she had her first stroke. And in September, she had two minor strokes and she's still standing. Um, I know it's an amazing story. She just is my hero. Um, and it's a little emotional when I think about it. But she, um, <laughs> she, <laughs> um, now was found to have a brain disorder <clears throat> called Moya Moya, and she now has to have uh, brain surgery this month in within two weeks. So we're looking forward to that, and we're preparing for that, but in the meantime, we're still having our transfusions because that's really helping her with her dis with her uh, blood disorder. She um, has to have the transfusions, and the transfusions help prevent her for, from having pain crises, and she has not had one pain crisis because of the blood transfusions. If I could say anything to the phlebotomist at the Red Cross, um, of course, it would be thank you so, so very much. I mean, without you guys, we really wouldn't be here. Um, Sammy could die without having transfusions. So it's very important, and I got a chance to firsthand see what you actually do. And I really think it is amazing, amazing what you do. I don't even think I could do it. I really don't think I could do it. It's just, it, it's amazing, and thank you so very much. I would like to say thank you. You saved my life. You save countless lives every day. Thank you for donating blood. It really has been. Thank you, Red Cross. American Red Cross. Careers that count.